Hello Minute Physics. I wanted to make this video for you because I was super inspired by your series on special relativity and the Lorentz transformations. You really helped make it click for me with your space-time globe thing that you made. I'm a video game programmer and I wanted to make my own space-time globe in Unity. It's coming along, but it's also a little busted. All right, so here's how this is set up. I've got the Earth and my rocket. The rocket, as an observer, is set to a velocity of 0.6 times the speed of light. The Earth is me. That's my frame of reference. And when I launch this off, I can watch the times progress on both these observers. Uh, and I can see that the rocket is slowly getting offset from the Earth time in sort of a predictable way if we were going 0.6 times the speed of light. So if you crank the rocket up to 0.9 times the speed of light and launch it off, we can see the time dilation effect is much more pronounced. So, so far, I feel like this is working. This is what I wanted. So I added in a destination for the observer to go to. And now when I launch them, I can see that, yeah, the observer over here, the sun, which isn't moving relative to the Earth, is clicking up in proper time with the Earth, and the observer is, and, and the rocket is slowed down. Let's switch things over to the rocket's perspective. So this is where my model gets weird. When I launch things from the rocket's perspective, okay, so the Earth is going slow compared to the rocket, which was what I expected from the twins paradox, but right when I started, the sun jumped way forward in time. So I'm not really sure why that happened. Here's the thing. All these videos on the twin paradox talk a lot about what happens on the rocket and the Earth relative to each other, but they don't really talk about what the observer would see if they were on the destination looking at the other two, or what the person on the rocket sees at the destination. So I'm not really sure if my model is wrong here, or if my math is wrong, or my code is wrong or if this is what I should be seeing. I definitely have questions and want to talk to a real physicist. I also have some ideas for how I can make acceleration work with this, but I'm not sure if they're gonna work out. I might be barking up the wrong tree. Anyway, your videos are awesome, and if you want to talk about this project, I would love your input, because your videos kind of got me this far, and I'd really love to see how far I could go.